Hey, what's up guys and girls? It's me, M. Kwan here with another unboxing. Peace and blessings show out there. And this time I managed to get hold of this camera. This is going to act as my vlogging camera and one of the cameras that I'm gonna use actually on Avora TV uh, for videos as well. And this is a Canon PowerShot S120. It's the uh, basically a compact camera, but it has really very good quality uh, video. And you know, Canon is, definitely one of the brands that is known for the video content. So what I want to do is I want to do an unboxing. I ordered this hoping to get a black version, but I didn't. I ended up getting another version. I'll show you that in a moment. But anyway, just show you at the front what's on the box. Pretty standard Canon packaging. You've got sort of a, a medium size uh, Canon uh, box. We've got the Canon logo at the top, PowerShot S120 digital camera. And basically this is the 12.1 megapixel uh, back illuminated CMOS sensor, the same one that you find in the Canon G16. So it's in a smaller shape uh, format, which means that really it's going to hopefully produce better results. Um, it's got the latest processor, the Digix 6 uh, processor as well included. Um, I mentioned the 12.1 megapixel, uh, 24 millimeter um, sort of zoom or, or kind of a view. And this is one of the things that I particularly like about Canon uh, compact cameras for video is that they give a really awesome, awesome uh, wide angle view, but not too wide. So it's kind of, it just looks really nice. So that's included with that as well. It's five time optical zoom. Uh, and it also comes with a three inch touch screen, which is very, very good as well. It's supposed to be good. We can test that out. Um, it's got this HS system, full HD 1080p recording, a range of different functions as well. And it's also Wi-Fi certified. Now, this particular model will set you back about 12, I paid actually 1300 for this, dirhams that is, which is about 220 pounds. Um, now, this is actually supposed to only be sold in Japan. I love at the back how it says, uh, made in Japan for Japan only, not intended for sale outside of Japan. But hey, I don't know how these guys managed to get their hands on it, but this is what they sent me. So, you'd expect there to be a black Canon S120, but no, we ended up with a silver S120, which is actually quite a unusual camera in this part of the world. But included in that, we get a bunch of, you know, kind of photocopied, manual guide that's included there i don't even know if that's the original but hey um we get a charging uh kind of pack so canon has got a, removed basically the ability to charge directly from the camera you have to take the battery out and use this pack to charge nice and compact um but that's included there as well and then we get a large capacity battery. This was something that I was worried about in terms of ordering, but we actually get a, uh, what is it? NB6LH battery, which is the higher capacity battery. Um, the standard battery for this one is the NB6L. Uh, the H at the end indicates that it's basically a higher capacity battery, so that's included. And then we get a little lanyard. So I wish they had a silver lanyard, but it's a black lanyard that they include. And finally, the camera itself in all its glory. Let me take this out and show you. There we go. This is the camera in all its glory. So it's kind of, when I took this out the first time, I it doesn't show so well on camera, it might do, but this actually had a hint of gold in it. And I was actually, uh, I actually thought this was kind of like a limited edition silvery gold version, but it isn't. It's actually supposed to be silver. So you get the camera itself, really nice, really compact, quite light as well. And um, that's the back there. You can see that you've got a little rubber grip, which is nice. You've got the uh, control dials, a few selected menus, and then you've got the touch screen over here. Now at the top, we've got the on off button. We've got the shutter button. We've got a various range of different modes. And then you've got the, uh, there's no viewfinder with this. So that's one of the downsides. But for me, that's not an issue because I hardly ever use a viewfinder on my DSLR. So I don't think I'm gonna be using this on this compact. Um, but we do have like this little manual shutter thing for the, for the flash, which is nice. So this is all manual. So you have to put it back in and when you need it again, boom, you pull it out, which is nice. Um, and it's also got a ring around. This is a, a control ring. Now you can set this up to feature 
various modes. So at the moment, I think it's by default set up on zoom. So you can change this for aperture and, and a few other settings internally. So that is a camera, that's a Canon S120. Uh, I'm gonna put the battery in and just show you how it powers on so you guys can check it out as well. So there's a battery in there. Boom, power it on. And that's what it looks like. And I love this control ring because the control ring has a certain amount of kind of like a clicky feel to it. So it feels quite mechanical as well, which is really, really nice. And let's show you what the viewfinder looks like as well. There it is, that's the viewfinder over there. Uh, no memory card at the moment, I haven't got a memory card to put in there, but it's basically got a touchscreen viewfinder. And one of the other awesome features, I'm gonna do a full detail review, but one of the features is that you can actually, um, you know, use the viewfinder to use sort of um, uh, depth of field, so you'll be able to kind of view various uh, depth of field features as well, as well as accessing menus and things like that. Let me show you the menu option. There is a menu option there, standard Canon menu options there, but it's got a really responsive touchscreen. It's actually quite nice to use a touchscreen that doesn't kind of uh, feel clumsy. So that's included there. So there we go, guys. That's the Canon S120. As per usual, you'll see the quality of these videos, hopefully on, on the vlog channel as well as on this channel. And I'll do a full detailed review, including some test shots as well on the channel. So stay tuned for that. Anyway, guys, it's been a quick unboxing from me and Quan. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, peace and blessings.